What's up guys, Learning with Rich here in this video. So as you can see, we are going to create a use stair here. So after learning how to create our straight stairs, so we are now going to create our use stair in this area here. And then if you will notice as I hover my pointer, so there's already a shaft opening created in this area. Actually, this uh, shaft opening is just one shaft opening. So if I click that one, it will also highlight all the other uh, shop opening in the model all right so what i'm gonna do is um, i'm gonna select the stair here so this will gonna be a quick video so i'm gonna select the stair and then after that you see the components so make sure you are on the run option and then last time we created the straight stair and then you also have other options here to shape up your stair but we're not going to discuss all of this so you can do it on your uh, own time but for this exercise we're going to create a u-shape winder type of stair so i'm going to select this one and then i'm going to use this type assembled stair six inches max riser 12 inches thread and then for the actual run width so i'm gonna change this to three feet nine inches okay so as you can see there's already the preview of the stair and then you can also change here the properties or the constraints of your stair so in our case it will start on the entry level and then it will end on the zero two so basically from first floor to second floor and then just like what we did last time we're gonna make it uh, multi-story uh, stair okay right so for the desired numbers uh, number of risers I'll just use 25 here okay and then let's do this so the door is here so I'm gonna flip my stair so I'm gonna press a space bar and then a space bar again there you go and then after that I'm going to click for the placement of my stair and then after that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, move this stair that I have created exactly to the place where I would like that to be created. So I'm going to select here the move tool and then click the midpoint here. And then after that, click the midpoint here. There you have it. Okay. And then after that, don't forget to select finish edit mode. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do after we finish creating the stair is I'm going to create a 3D view of this stair. So I'm going to select the stair and then I'm going to select here selection box or you can also type BX. Just click that one and then there you go. So there's now our stair. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show the section box. So reveal hidden elements. So the section box is that this one so that's the section box it's currently hidden oh not that one so this one that's the section box so you click the section box and then unhide it and then toggle reveal hidden elements mode to turn it off okay there you go so we now have our section box so i'm going to click the section box and then there's now our stair here so you can also play around with the type of railing for your stair. So like, for example, I'm going to click the stair here, click that one, and then you can change here the railing type. So let's say, for example, I'm going to use here guard, uh, guard rail pipe. And there you go. So that's how it looks like. So let's say I want to change that to another type. So let's say I'm going to use here handrail pipe. So just click that one. So basically, just... just um, uh, explore the types of pipes here so you can click that one I mean you can explore the different type of uh, railing so I'll just select handrail pipe and then and just like what we did last time we're gonna make this a uh, multi-level so I'm gonna go back again to uh, entry level and then I'm gonna close the other view so I'm going to create a section here so I click the section tool and then I'm going to pick two points from here. One and two. There you go. And then after that, right click the section and then select go to view to open the section view. 
Okay, now I'm going to select the stair and then select levels here. And make sure connect levels here is activated. And then that's the time we can now click the next level where we want our stair to be connected. So I click that one. And then after that, finish. And there you have it. And then I'll select your modify. Let's check out that in the 3D view. And let's zoom in. And where's my section box? So I click the section box up. And there you have it. Okay. So now as you can see, our uh, shaft opening here is cutting this area this area here so if i click this one so that's our uh, shaft opening right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna edit the shaft opening so after selecting the shaft opening the reason why i'm i am editing the shaft opening it's because i want this area here to be close i don't want to have a gap there so i'm gonna modify it so i select the shaft opening edit the sketch and then let's go to the top view, zoom in, okay, and then after that, I'm gonna create a line here, up to here, so I'm gonna pick this, this area here, so pick that one, and then let's use stream extend to corner, to clean up the corner, that's it, and then after that, delete the excess line, just delete that one and then after that finish it there you go okay so there you have it so that no more gap there okay so you can uh, adjust your section box for you to be able to see the section okay so that's now our uh, use there All right, so that's the stair in the 3D view. So maybe I'm gonna click the stair and then after that I can click here, uh, isolate the category. Oops, it should be here. So I click this and then isolate the category for us to be able to see it. There you go. So there's our stairs. So here, I'm just going to reset the temporary height isolate. There you go. Okay, so this is how it looks like in the floor plan view and then this one in the 3D view. And then this one in our section view. There you go. So hopefully you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.